Sure. Let's go for it. Uh, first of, uh, of all, good, mo good morning. Thank you for, very much for your time, this, uh, this space with, uh, with us. My name is Jorge Gonzalez. Uh, as you will notice, my native language is not English. So I, I held myself with a, a script that previously prepared to show my presentation. Uh, I, I, I live in Mexico City. Uh, and four years ago, my wife died uh, after fighting cancer for eight years. And I have three children uh, that live in near to Mexico City, the Querétaro City. Uh, let me show my, my screen. Yeah, they, they are my, my, my children. Uh, from the left to right is Sofia, Alejandra, I, and Jorge. This is my, my home. And uh, near to my home is the uh, Chapultepec Park. It's a, a very big park uh, in the center of the city. As you can see, this is the another city where my kids live. And well, this is uh, the entire my country in some way. And well, I, I talk about the, the, the project, uh, the Gara Games project. Uh, first of, 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 of all, I, I need to talk about the, myself, sorry. I, 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 since I was a child, I really like playing with numbers, uh, with the uh, arithmetic operation, uh, magic uh, squares and Really, I had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I learned to code in, in the age of 14, 14. And since then, I is one of the activities that I am passionate about, as well as doing uh, manual things uh, like a maker. I have more than 30, 30 years uh, of experience in the information technology industry and I worked with uh, some uh, global technology companies like IBM, Hewlett Packard, and the Germany company of software SIP and, and others in different countries in Latin America mainly. Uh, I am the founder of a startup named Disruptive. The Rotary is a startup uh, born three years ago in and uh, incubated in the IBM's Global Entrepreneur Program with the mission of uh, 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 to bring to the to, to the young people, to the children, the opportunity to know the new technologies like uh, Internet of Things, uh, the coding, the intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence, and machine learning in, in special. Through the Garagains project that, let me, let me show the, the homepage. Through the Garagains project, we are offering an open software platform with which they can develop coding, robotics, and artificial intelligence in, in partnership with other projects uh, from uh, Colombian uh, guy named uh, Camilo Parra. Uh, Gara Games is based on the Scratch. I know that many of you uh, know uh, very well the, the Scratch platform. Gara Games is based on Scratch. We offer a familiar environment for many, many of the of the kids, in, in incorporating extensions that allow them to add cognitive capabilities to their projects, uh, through a machine learning services provided by these uh, companies like IBM or or Amazon or Google. 
let me show uh, the, pardon, sorry. Uh, ah, okay, this is the menu. Uh, this, this version of the platform is the previous that uh, the actual, because it was based in the in the version two of Scratch that you know is out of the of the life because the uh, the platform uh, version two is based of uh, old technology that is discontinued in January the Adobe uh, Flash. This is the look and feel though of the Scratch, uh, and uh, we add some additional extensions to to bring these capabilities like uh, uh, image recognition speech to text text to speech and in, in, in others last year we made an alliance with auto diy to develop extension to control the different roads models and thus extend the scope of the platform to Auto Academy, where we are offering our version of the Scratch, named Auto Scratch AI. Auto is an open hardware and software robot that can be 3D printed and based on Android and, and Arduino uh, hardware, currently through the Arduino Nano microcontroller. And Auto has been very successful sign is low cost and very easy to build. However, the limitation of the hardware, both in computing power and the memory size, do not allow the incorporation of superior capabilities such as uh, inter uh, artificial intelligence. Let me show the, the auto DIY site. Uh, this is the, the side of, uh, of the home of auto. And let me show the, the, the idea of the auto academy project. Auto robot, anything is possible. You become the teacher. You become the engineer. Sorry, do, do you hear the the sound? Yes. You make Auto a lot. In the next step, yes. Years and programmers be at the top of the hiring food chain. It is crucial today that youth and adults begin the first steps to acquire these skills. Our solution at Auto DIY is to support the learning of these fundamental skills in a fun, stress-free environment. With the purchase of OTO, you get access to courses from OTO Academy. Want to build your own robot separately, but don't have the product ID? No problem. You can pay to access. OTO Academy gives you a structured revenue to learn personally as a beginner to advance skill development. Just log in with your product ID or membership access and you get all the lessons necessary to develop the skills of the future. From component engineering to coding Oto with use of artificial intelligence, Oto Academy offers a gamified, fun learning experience with badges and certificates. For beginners, we support block-based coding and an easy way to learn the fundamentals, followed by the steps to code using C++ and Python. Not to mention, as you advance yourself through the courses, you get to the final stage of developing AI. Super cool. Don't take our word for it. Get Oto today and be part of the robotic revolution and prepare yourself for the future of the job. Okay. This is our project. And together with the Auto DIY, the Auto Academy. And the goal is to uh, merge these uh, two projects in a, only one platform. 
to learn to code, all the aspects of robotics and electronics, and additionally, the, the extension to AI uh, that we develop in the, in the platform. Let me, let me show uh, how uh, is the, the difference between the official uh, Scratch platform and our, our uh, Gara Games platform. This is the familiar interface of Scratch. You are very uh, familiar with this with this interface, and now that all these uh, red uh, colored uh, circles are group group many different blocks that can be used to program, depend of the action that we bring to the characters. But additionally, Scratch bring the opportunity to add more functionality to a series of new blocks to perform some special uh, functions like the video sensing, uh, to draw uh, with a pen, uh, to play a music, etc. But these extensions are very limited because in comparison with the version two, we cannot add more functionality like Scratch X uh, in the version two. Then the first uh, thing that we do is extend uh, according with the, the spirit of Scratch to remix. We are a remix of Scratch. Our remix of Scratch is Auto Scratch AI. And if you see the look and feel is the same, only uh, some colors change, but we have additional things in, that we notice. In the first time, in the first uh, time, we need to show the templates. That is a collection of a project of, of project that can be based to another project. Project in according with different uh, levels of difficulty for beginners to intermediate and advanced uh, difficulty. And we, uh, in the future, we add, add more and more uh, templates to uh, facilitate the beginning of new projects to the kids. Uh, this is the core of the differences that is the collection of ext extension. If you, if you see, we have the difference in the, in the interface. We add a, a menu that a group a different types of uh, extensions. For example, we have four extensions for manipulate or to control the different uh, models of uh, auto robot like the auto plus, the auto eyes, the auto humanoid and auto wheels. We can select some of these uh, extensions to control a uh, specific model of robot. Uh, for example, we can use the auto eyes. And if, if you uh, see, Via Bluetooth, the platform detects if some robot is near and show in a menu. Actually, if we, we have uh, two robots here. That is uh, Auto Wheels and Auto Eyes. You can connect to the to the robot and then you can uh, manipulate directly with the blocks in real time and make that uh, the, the robot execute uh, the task. Ooh. 
Morphe is here. <laughs> Excuse me. Excellent. I'm sorry. We can use these other blocks to move the robot. And in different things can we do with the robot? Let me show another another kind of robot. We will choose the auto wheels. Let me show. Okay, this is the, the aspect of robotics, but on the control of the robot, uh, we can we can program directly the robot. The program is in is here in the computer. This program in Scratch is only control the robot that previously is uh, loaded with a with a program that listen to the Bluetooth interface that is connected with, uh, with the platform and execute the, the, the command that uh, the block sent via Bluetooth to the, to the robot. This kind of uh, programming extends the capability or, or the capacity of the robot to more advanced uh, programs, more sophisticated programs, and also we we have the opportunity com to combine uh, more blocks, including the machine learning blocks. Uh, the these extensions uh, access services in the cloud from uh, the different uh, providers, and some is executed in in the computer in the in the on the pc for example we can use the speech to text block let me change the the language to spanish and execute this block let me move sorry hola otto como estas well muy buenos dias como estas This block use a, a model to a speech recognition and translate to, to text. If you, if you can imagine these blocks can combine with the auto blocks and do a more uh, interesting things like, like to control the robot via the voice or in, in including some uh, extension like IBM Watson Assistant to make a, a natural language uh, recognition to make an, a, a skill based on, the, on this uh, technology from IBM. You know uh, that uh, Alexa from Amazon has a program to develop 
specialize the skills to the community and collaborate and, uh, and, and sell these skills to the, to the community. Well, in IBM, there are some uh, tools to develop these skills and consume with this uh, extension to build more sophisticated programs and together with the blocks of auto, the basic blocks of programming make a, a, a very rich program or project to learn uh, to code, to learn to uh, make a, a model and training. Uh, for example, this is my account, my free account in IBM where we develop some skills. One of them is, is this, the smart room, where we create the model and train the model for use after in a class with the, the kids in a template. Let me show the template. This is the, the smart group template. This project is very interesting because we show the difference between the programming based on rules, that is the classic programming, like a programming in, in Java or in other uh, languages, uh, but show additional the difference with programming with uh, it, a machine learning model, yes. The kids can experiment with this, this tool of a program, of programming model. And the teacher, uh, uh, I, I, we bring the, the teacher the tool to show this difference. Uh, for example, we can uh, connect the, the code with the sprite. Let me disconnect the another part. And, and show how this works. Let me. So it's, oh. I actually uh, entered the command to turn off, to turn on the, the fan and the program acts in consequence. But if you can see, we need to tell the command exactly as the the program expect. In this case, to turn on the fan, we need to enter this. I'm sorry, this command exactly in this way. If you wish to turn off the fan, we need to enter this exact. But what, what happens if you make a mistake? The program don't understand the instruction. If you wish to manage all the exceptions when you enter a command, we need a very large program, very large code to manage all these exceptions. And this is the difference that we show to the child, child to, to the students compared with the machine learning model based 
in these skills. In the skill, when we build the skill in, in behind, we need to construct a model, a model that uh, understand or receive the, the phrase, the sentence, and detect an intention, an intent. In this case, we have four intents. The intent to turn uh, off the lamp, to turn off the fan, and to turn off on the lamp and turn on the, the fan. And this is the, 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 the core or the, or the concept of, of uh, machine learning that we need to show to teach to the to the children they uh, we need to, to to convert the the students from the consumers of this kind of uh, technology to a uh, creator of this of this technology in the case of the uh, machine learning we need to show to the students how to build a model the 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 task that we need to to make to prepare the model to train the model to test the model and then uh, get the result that we expect the the result is to detect an intention an intent from the from some phrase this exercise is the the, the center of the core of the platform. We need to show, to teach to the, to the students that they are a very hard work behind this kind of uh, uh, blocks, talking about the, these blocks. For example, um, the Watson. Watson uh, have these, these blocks, this, the first, Three are uh, only for the the credential to access the service in, in Watson, but this let me make a new project. But this block, the converse block, we can. Uh, Think about this block like like a, a magic block because we enter some phrase and we obtain a response that uh, seems like magic. Uh, for example, that. it's too dark. It's too dark, but uh, okay. So I, I'm using another another model, but uh, load again this this block. Okay, now so. Okay. Okay, if you can see when you we in when I send this phrase, the intent detect is in seeing the lamp, turn off the lamp. It's very, it's, it's very hot. Then the intent that we, we obtain is turn off the fan. You have it to see, you have to see in the comment. Does it make you problem? Is that a problem? If you uh, type it wrong, the word, is it a problem? No problem because if you, if you see this, this is a mistake in, 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 the, in the comment. The core is with only one C, mm -hmm. but the model behind 
uh, manage this this kind of, uh, of error and filter and detect uh, correctly the intention. This is the magic. <laughs> Oh, the, the 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 objective is yeah. is make more transparent this black box that uh, represent these blocks. How to show how behind is cons is constructed the model, and work with the, with the, the kids in uh, in the classroom to construct to build this model in a dynamic manner, in a participative uh, way, in, in, with the objective to, to show the process that many other services that uh, usually uh, use when they uh, navigate in, in, in the internet, when they search in Google, when they select a, a movie in, in Netflix, uh, and I warn this this uh, kids about the existence of this technology and the responsibility that uh, we acquire what uh, design a model and train a model. We are uh, worried about the the good use of this technology because uh, uh, you know many cases are in, in, in the history about the misuse of the machine learning in services like the tagging uh, images in, in, in Facebook for example or in Google and uh, the impact in the in, in the in the people. Okay, this is uh, in uh, general uh, way the, the, the concept of the platform of Gara Games. I don't know if you uh, have some question. I, 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 I please, uh, Eloisa, help me to. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, thank you for your presentation. That's very interesting. And I'm sure that we have a lot of questions. Uh, so unmute yourselves and please make your questions. Who wants to start? Beatrice? Yeah. No, it's really, really interesting. Uh, um, can, ch can a child consider yeah, if I well understood, mucho. Uh, so if you if you write with double C, something that uh, like you say that is in, in a black in a black box that you put all uh, kind of mistakes. So in fact, is you can reconnect to the first example. I don't know if it's clear the question. I mean. Uh, if you consider uh, the word mucho, for example, uh, and the system can recognize because in in the black box, you you can write a lot of uh, kind of mistakes. Uh, you, you can uh, have an algorithm that can recognize uh, the mistakes. I mean, a child can really understand what is the difference. Well, we need, easy. we need to, to work very hard with the, with the, with the group, with the, the students in, in the, the, the definition of the model. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, the interface is not very well designed, but, but we were to download the, uh, this is a very phrase. important uh, part. Yes, it's the core. The core, because, yeah, exactly. Because this is the, the reason. It's very interesting. Uh, 
this kind of, of, of uh, training is named uh, ah. ah I forget them. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Assistant. Forget it. Well, this is the list of phrases that we uh, introduced to the model to train yeah. the model. Yeah. All these phrases are tagged with an intention. Sure. For example, this is turn off the lamp. When we uh, introduce more and more examples of phrases that uh, are tagged with this intention the model learn of this of this is the of this uh, list of words or, or phrases and construct internally based of the mathematical models neural networks a uh, model that predicts in a sense is a prediction model based on a yeah. set of, uh, of phrases classified or targeted with an intention. This is but, the base just of, say, But why I should use that kind of uh, way or why, for example, I cannot use, uh, propose a list, uh, for example, using the list on uh, on uh, stretch and you compare stretch. the answer yes you compare the answer to for each uh, and every time maybe you have a new war you new way to say switch off the light you can add on your list yeah oh. but but the, the the big difference is this approach is like uh, have a database with many possibilities yeah, yeah. and select by a search yeah. the, the, the phrase that uh, corresponds with that intent. Is, this is the uh, based, uh, the rule-based programming that it's very different because yeah. we, in, in the machine learning uh, model, we use a uh, very large, uh, ideally, a very large yeah, set yeah. of examples. Okay. And the, 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 the engine of intelligent, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, in this case, Watson, construct an algorithm, algorithm that can analyze any other phrase, uh, phrase yeah. out of this list, very different, and uh, with uh, some uh, of uh, confidence, predict the intention. If you if you uh, bring to the model the, the exact phrase that is included in the data sets to train, the confidence is ten percent. With this, um, sure. But we uh, uh, yeah. enter another another phrase that is not included in the in the set for training yeah the accuracy of the confidence will sure. be less than 10 and 10 percent now yeah if the phrase is totally uh, other intention obviously the the confidence of the result will be very low and we can manage this kind of a uh, intention, uh, sorry, the confidence with this variable. Uh -huh. if, if you, if you can see when we enter Tengo Mucho Calor, the intention detect is turned on the fan, but with 99% of confidence, because this phrase is not included in the data set. Okay. For training. So now in training. Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's a very big difference with the classical uh, list yes. of phrases and uh, and search. But you can also add every time you. I mean. Yes. You can, you can yes. also. Yeah. Yes. 
uh, in the future we develop some uh, new blocks to add more phrases to the model and train it's it's very good to show how to, to train the model directly in the in the platform and not and uh, not use the the very ugly <laughs> interface from IBM. Thank you. Okay. I have uh, another so question. Okay. Eh? You have okay. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Sorry, by my poor English. <laughs> No. I have another question. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. And have you, uh, maybe I didn't understand, uh, have you um, used this, uh, um, uh, this proposal, your proposal to teacher training and uh, uh, always all, all, um, only for children uh, classes. No, yeah. I think that the the approach that we need to follow is first the teachers, no. because uh, as a company, as a startup, is is uh, very difficult to reach the the end user that is the student. Exactly. The our our, our market is the educators, the teachers, because if we uh, train the trainers, yeah. our scope is more, more, great, more. Uh, yeah. Grand. Okay. Another question? Uh, I have. I, I want to share an experience uh, with uh, with you, and with Beatrice. So, uh, is it possible? Yes. Okay. So. Uh, sure. I, 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 yes. So I, I was talking in the beginning with Jorge about my experience of yesterday. So it was interesting because we are working on the same. I mean, field. So now uh, I think uh, what Beatrice was saying is how to teach uh, uh, this concept. So for me, I will share my experience. Yeah. So uh, for example, for them, uh, we did the same project, but with physical objects, which means that we have an LED and we will, we want to, to turn it on. In the beginning, we were trying to send uh, something called HTTP request and with some keywords. The problem with this solution, if you just miss one, for example, uh, you send on in lowercase and in your end program, it's supposed to be uh, a lo uh, uppercase. You're, you, you can't control the LED. So when we get this limitation, uh, uh, when AI came, it brings us a lot of solutions because whatever you write, it should be around uh, uh, that uh, phrases to turn on or off and you can control it. So it, uh, uh, I think, if, I mean, in my way of teaching, it's good to have this limit. It's like, oh, we have this problem of uppercase, lowercase, what if you really say something and so on. So this is the, uh, the, uh, the first point. The second point about the natural language processing is part of it. So uh, I will tell you, for example, the English, when we talk in, in, in Tunisia, usually we, we are not that good. So we translate from Arabic or from French. Let's say I will turn on an LED. If I translate it from Arabic, it will be open and close. So open the light and close the light is, is not English, do you understand? But because artificial intelligence and because of this, the intelligence of these kind of models, he will understand my English and uh, the, the non-English speaker's uh, accent. So I think it's really interesting. Uh, I mean, it's really magic, like you said, Jorge. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, and additionally, we, we can combine the, this, uh, these uh, blocks with the physical world. For example, in this program, let me let me show more detail of the program. The program that views the blocks from uh, 
auto if you can see our example show only the, the, the screen, but additionally we introduce in the middle some block that manage the robot to this robot has has a radio radio frequency module to connect with a remote switch to physically uh, connect and disconnect the the, the lamp of, of the of the the fan. Uh, actually, I, I have not this module in, in in place, but they when we when when the program understand that the the intent is to turn on the the lamp, for example, or the fan, uh, send a message via radio frequency with the module installed in the robot to the remote switch and turn off the light physically. And this, the, 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 the bridge between the conceptual or, or abstract to the real life, real uh, world. Then we can uh, make a project that cover the three, the three uh, areas the coding, the robotics, and the intelligent, the artificial intelligence with the, these three kinds of blocks uh, together in this program. Um, can I ask the question? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you a lot for your presentation. Um, maybe, uh, so, you are giving this product to the teachers and they use it with the kids with the kids yeah maybe you measure how often they use your artificial intelligence model in in the education process so what do i mean i mean that like uh, there is a simple ways to use scratch based things yeah and it's without artificial intelligence but uh, you introduce this model so is it popular among the teachers to use it and uh, maybe you have some numbers, yeah? So like, is it like 10% of the lessons or 5% of the teachers use it and so on and so on? I, I have not these this, uh, numbers because I, I just start this project. Uh, we are in the stage of uh, promotion to invite uh, to this kind of uh, forums, forums to the teachers and invite, invite you to uh, introduced to this new concept. Uh, I know that the first step to reach the, the students is that the teachers learn this, uh, this kind of, uh, of uh, competences. Uh, I just started. Yeah, thank you. Um, maybe other persons want to, to make some question. Uh, uh, Joel, yeah. would you like to, to ask something? Yes, I do. Thanks, Charlie, for your presentation. And uh, uh, I'm completely new to, to uh, artificial intelligence. So I was thinking, uh, how can I start? Like, uh, what what would be the first project in artificial intelligence using the scratch and your blocks, the blocks that you show us? I think that the fir the first thing that we can uh, use with the with the is similar to another uh, blocks. We need to experiment in a block by block. For example. Uh, if, if we are uh, talking about the inter uh, artificial intelligence uh, blocks, we can select some uh, of them. Actually, in this version, only have the Watson. And uh, begins with uh, very simple things, uh, block by block. Uh, but as we can see, 
the more important thing about that is the model. We need to talk about uh, with, the, with the guide, with the students, we need to show that this is a very hard work behind the, the, the block. This is, this is the more important. But when we have a model, or, or, you, or we can use a, a predefined model, we can uh, start with very basic things, block by block, and then support in the templates. In this case, the smart room that combine the, the, three, the three areas. Uh, this this another uh, template is uh, very simple, but use only the blocks uh, of uh, auto. So it's a game that uh, we can run and use the keyboard to, to avoid the dobs. And when we lost uh, the, the, the program, can use uh, a block to communicate, to send a message to the auto eyes. And the robot interpret that and, and show a, an emotion, for example. No? And so on. We need to hear, uh, I, I, I need to explore each block and incrementally add more complexity to the, to the project. Okay, thank you, George. See nada. Luisa. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we have some technical internet problems. Uh, years, like five years, six years, in order they have more training in this uh, this technology. But but the reason I I think my my idea to to join with with your project and to try to introduce to politics this 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 idea is a target for me uh, and by this reason I, I say I'm proud for your your project and I will try to 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 join with politics in order to to, to invest money uh, um, and this project to introduce to more uh, public schools. Thank you Samuel. I share this this goal also. I hope that the the public sector in Mexico will evolve, evolve to to these new uh, educational models. It's a very hard work in in, in the horizon, but the, we need to begin. Yes, uh, Jorge, which is how to compare the price in Kibo and Otto? I don't know the price of Kibo, uh, I, I really, but uh, we have, we know the price of, of, of Otto. <laughs> Actually, I developed a, a store, online store in, in Gara Games. It's not online yet. Don't share. <laughs> I just in the in the process to launch this this site uh, together with a, with a, a campaign from a very emblematic museum in Mexico, uh, Papale, Papalote Museo del Niño, uh, and we have uh, introduced a, a promotion that include some of the robots. It's a, a, a special edition of the auto. It's the auto hero kit that includes some of the seven heroes, model heroes. 
and when the, the price is about um, let me let me convert eighty-six dollars. Um, exactly, exactly. But this this is a, this is a pack, yes, that include the 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 auto robot uh, and three three and uh, workshop. One for uh, 3D modeling to electronic components and artificial intelligence. Uh, okay. This is uh, more or less the, the price that we managed in, the, in, this, in this project. I, I don't know if uh, compared with Kibo, I, 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 I don't know this, this robot. If you can see, my ex experience is not in the educational area. I am a technologist, and uh, I try to understand this uh, this new new area for me. I learned very much like like year in the LCL uh, community in Mexico, but uh, I I don't know. I I, I need to learn more more. And more. Mm, do you plan to sell it separately also? Like uh, one robot, for example. Yes, but uh, this mo this special edition, no. This need to to buy in, in pack, but in the future we add the the classic robots. That uh, let me show times. This is the laser cut uh, model. The, the the plus, the humanoid, and the wheels. Auto is has presence in more than 16, 60 countries, 68 countries in the world, and have many, many remixes, more than 100 remixes of auto developed by the, by the community. And uh, we will select some of the best and produce in Mexico to sell in uh, our store. Okay, Elisa. Um, I think the... Sorry for the, for the commercial, it's, not, it's all of, of the plan. No, no, it's okay. You, you show me a lot of things. I also, I, I navigate on the on the websites. So thank you very much. Really, really interesting. Thank you. Your presentation very impressed and very interesting about Otobo with uh, AI education. So I know Otobo in Korean version. Yes, we use. Uh, Arduino users use the Autobot uh, for educate AI uh, content. So it's very interesting uh, to me. And uh, do you have any, uh, any bot or any uh, IoT devices for uh, AI education in Mexico? Well, I, I previously, of auto, I work with uh, TJ Bot, that the, is the, I, the IBM robot. Uh, we develop all the all the blocks to control uh, TJ Bot in the version two, that will uh, migrate to to the version three, three of auto. Or not exactly a auto scratch. We have uh, another version of this platform that is Garax. That show this. Garax include uh, more robots than auto, included a uh, uh, TJ bot that use Raspberry Pi uh, uh, hardware that is not a microcontroller, it's a microprocessor with more capabilities, more capacity in memory in process to manage all kinds of devices like a camera. Uh, Actually, 
Garax run inside TJ Gold, and we can uh, uh, develop an autonomous robot. But you know, TJ Bot is is not a um, fun like like Otto. It's a very static robot. Only have an arm that moves uh, front and back, and and that's all. But it's very powerful because we we can uh, use, uh, for example, image processing to recognize things in front of the robot. Uh, using the standard algorithms provided by the uh, image recognizing services of Watson, uh, can talk, for example, with a with a speaker, um, and can use all the uh, digital and analog the inputs connect to the to the robot. Uh, this is this is another option that we we have in the future. Okay, thank you very much. And I have a, uh, another question. Uh, do you have any uh, teacher training course for uh, this Autobot? Or do you have any uh, K-12 curriculum with Autobot? Yeah, work, yeah, this is a, a, it's a work in progress uh, that we uh, will bring. In. I, I hope that very soon, but it's not actually uh, available. But it's the plan. This is the plan of Auto Academy to increase the, the offer of uh, courses. We need to generate more content and actually are working very hard to uh, include this kind of courses to the, to the teachers, essentially to the teachers, but in the public in general. Well, was, uh, thank you very much for your time. I am, in, uh, you know, the, the, the site we can uh, navigate in, in, in this uh, content. And thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, um, congratulations for your presentation and thank you so much for bringing your new project to us. You're welcome. Bye. You're nice to meet you. bye, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye, all. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye, all. Thank you so much. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you. 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 Bye. Thank